presentation regarding the 2012-2013 Lake City Library budget. Just a quick overview as far as our library, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, funded by, uh, primarily by all four cities, Lake City's areas of the county, uh, and therefore we provide service, of course, to the citizens of all four cities, in the county, and the uh, If you look here, in the first eight months of this fiscal year, uh, all the towns increased as far as number of car holders and use of library. Then countywide, it was 8%. Resources, what's available, our circulation in the first eight months of this year been pretty, so is our collection. Uh, probably the numbers that I think are most interesting are the consortium numbers on to and from. Uh, if you're not familiar with our consortium, we join a group of libraries to share our uh, collections. And, uh, each year it continues to increase, in fact, each month it continues to increase. I think what speaks well uh, for our library staff and the director is that uh, the requests from our library are almost the same as those requested by our patrons. So we have a very up to date, even though it's small, uh, collection. And, uh, people are choosing it uh, to find online. Uh, the initial costs have gone down greatly from when we first joined the consortium. It's about a little over 8,000 now, which equates uh, $8 a book to 1,000 books. Um, what this allows us to do, you can see that loans requested from the consortium is up to almost 300. So if we get over 3,000 books, we have to spend $24,000 to put that on our shelf where they now have access to it uh, with a uh, way of maybe one to two days. Program summary of what's offered and available. We try to have something for everyone throughout the year. Summary sheet. This will give you an overview of the revenue sources for the library as well as the expense side. This page is for revenue. It breaks it down line by line, and you can see what's been done this year from each city as well as Denton County, and what we're asking uh, in the coming year. So it's an increase to Hickory Creek from 26,028 dollars, which uh, we have almost a thousand car holders in Hickory Creek. So. The only other thing I, I guess I would mention before I leave that, Denton County is going down from 40 to 38. Uh, it's a norm. I think they're actually trying to get out of library business, so each year we get less money to Denton County. The largest uh, increase here is from wages and payroll. Primarily, that's if us 
possibly like to add a part time uh, circulation desk uh, person that's 20 hours a week at 850. Uh, and the majority of the rest of that is included in what we're trying to do with part time employees right now and increase their hours. The rest of not much change. Here, note the uh, building rental goes up from 4570 to 14000 Past contract uh, with Lake Dallas for our building was over at the 3% increase every year. And that's what that $1,430 was. Our collection uh, developed to be the same. You uh, can see the change in the source. The notes I pretty much covered as far as consortium and building down the wages, the salary and change for the certain the only one that you won't find in the line item is the capital campaign fund, uh, note number four. This year, the board uh, set up a uh, fund, put $10,000 in it, and the idea being, and the intent was that that money would be set aside uh, in a separate fund from the reserve fund to support an increase in the library space. So it was either expanding that building, some of the building, but towards uh, when Barbara presented at the Lake Dallas uh, council meeting, a uh, council member suggested they would like to see a line item for the capital campaign fund. Um, I would probably support that if the budget designated for it was zero. Otherwise, I would. Uh, for two reasons. One was uh, taking that much money from the reserve fund. Uh, our reserve fund at the time had $56,000 in it. Uh, so we took almost 20% uh, to set it aside, uh, which you might be able to get away with if you never had to tap that fund. But at least once this year we did to the tune of $25,000. And eventually that money was replaced. But that money in the reserve fund is there to cover our operating costs and that's true uh jason just reminded we also had the texas workforce commission that we owed uh, a little over eight thousand dollars and it turned out so we had to have to with that but uh, <coughs> uh now i won't speak to the others i can understand their thinking but i think that was wrong but anyway, uh, the way we are funded, each town, the Hillsden County, funds at different times of the year. Some on a monthly basis, some twice a year, some once a year. So there's going to be gaps in there where we have to draw on a reserve fund to meet the operating budget until that money comes in. Uh, taking it down uh, in a $10,000 increment, is a smart way to go about it. Anyway, my other reason for not being of that campaign. Uh, if I came to any of the other town councils and I asked a council member, when we come and ask you for funding, <coughs> where do you think those taxpayer dollars are going? What for? No one, I think, would say it's going to improve a building in another town with our tax money that we don't even own. Everyone, I think, would say it's going for an operating budget. If I came to you and said, we need to expand because we're just out of room and we're seeking from each town a certain amount of money, well, then it's up front. You have time to debate that, decide, and you know, see where the taxpayer dollars should be spent. But uh, I don't agree with this. But the money's there, and the reason it's in a capital campaign fund, if we actually needed the money in a real pinch, we could use it for anything related to the bill, whether it's to add uh, shelving, anything like that. So, but that really matters. The last three slides are strictly a visual of what you already know. I don't think you'll see too many surprises. Uh, in this one, you see the funding for town. In this one's based on the census from 2010. Uh, Populations have grown a little bit since then, but uh, it is pretty accurate from that standpoint. 
probably the most interesting columns in the center one, that red one. In a perfect uh, world, those should be even all the way across when you get down to dollars per citizen. Uh, Shady Shores will be a little bit higher. I think they have a, a definite emotional tie to the library probably because of all uh, she established it back in the uh, The one adjustment that was made in this slide is that Lake Dallas, uh, that column reflects uh, an adjustment for the $40,570 they get back in the rent. So yes, this year they funded $96,000, but they got close to half of that. So when you take that into account, they're really funding about where they should uh, compared to uh, relative to other towns and uh, part of their uh, status. The one that lags behind is Grant. Uh, the reason they are is two years ago when all other towns included the library or moved ahead at the same level, Grant reduced theirs by a little over $5,000. <coughs> And so they'll always be behind. I mean, that number will always be skewed uh, that way unless they're uh, And it's the same thing reflected on the call. To me, the best slide is this one. It gives you a comparison of Lake City's library in relation to three surrounding uh, towns. Uh, the trends are normal, really. You would expect this population increase to <coughs> go down, but uh, when you look at it, there's some interesting correlations in, uh, to our library compared to each one of these towns. Aubrey's the smallest, uh, but it's the closest in the way it's set up to Lake City's library. Their library service area encompasses three towns, ours encompasses four. They are a municipal library in that they're solely owned and operated by Aubrey. They have uh, in local agreements with Cooper Rail and Crossroads. Uh, they put into that uh, for providing service to their communities. Where we're a public library, our board is not made up from one town. Uh, we're three representatives, and there's supposed to be three from each town. And there is right access for printing. Uh, uh, so the progression to Sanger uh, looks normal. Except when you look at Sanger, they're a little bigger population in the Aubrey area. Their budget was actually a little bit smaller this last year than Aubrey. Uh, but when you look at their numbers, in their budget, 77% went towards personnel. For Lake City's library, 48%. Uh, because they're so heavily set towards personnel and what they provide, and I'm not put my thumb on. I think they did it when everything was improving and good hearts. Uh, they thought that it would continue. They would be able to make it up on the uh, collection hand as the town grew, and then it hasn't. And so they're kind of stuck with that. But uh, they're only able to set aside about 8% of their budget for improving their collection or providing services and programs to their community. Uh, ours is at 48% uh, towards personnel, we're at 19% towards uh, collection and uh, focus. Little Town is the closest to Lexi's library up until this year in just the physical setup of the library. Little Town, before this year, was housed in 4,000 square feet, 4,000. Their collection, which is about 38,000, were over. But then this year, they're expanding into the first floor. They're going to take the whole first floor of City Hall, which they'll go from 4,000 to 9,700 square feet. I would love that. I'd love that 9,000 square feet for a library. But unfortunately, the other side of that, their budget went from 235,000 to 438,000. And that doesn't include the cost of the improvement uh, to do that renovation. Uh, so if you look at the little gray boxes, the tail ends here, that represents, if you look at Aubrey, they're spending $36 a person. Sanger is just over $24 a person for their library. Little Elm, with their changing budget, it's up to $17. 
The box I've got for Lake City is not this year, that's next year. So we got full funding from all four counties, even though then the county will pull back. That's why it was representing the comparison to what the other towns are doing this year. This year we're at nine dollars and seventeen cents a uh, person in the Lake City area. It'll go up to nine dollars and seventy-six cents uh, if we get full funding. Uh, bottom line here, I guess for us in Hickory Creek, Jim County's going to reduce their funding two thousand. Uh, Lake Dallas is going to increase their rent. We'd like to add a part-time employee as fun as available. And it comes up like say for a car boat of a different degree, it's a little bit too long. I will now, if there are any questions, live at total JC can for that. That's some questions for y'all. First let me stay by saying thank you very much for drilling down that budget and everything and volunteering for that uh, board. I know JC you've been there for a long time and you're going on four years. At least but, yeah it's going on a very long time. So I appreciate y'all doing that very much. Uh, I'm glad y'all voted the way you did because I don't agree with that ten thousand dollar expenditure either. If the reserve needs to stay the reserve, you know, it, it, we saw values go down in all these towns and the bottom hits right bottom and then people aren't going to get paid and they can't get them to the reserves to get what they need to do to operate. So we got to handle the reserves for the operating expenses. Right. So, I'm not sure, you know, if how we vote tonight with that last sentence in that, that we exclude that, but we still give the $2,021 increase, I think it was, for the town, or how the board is looking for the town to vote at all. Do you know, or did y'all talk about that? or? No, not as a board. I mean, I know as a board, uh, the majority of people want the most money they can get. Sure. It's the, if they don't ask, they don't get the loss of that necessarily. Uh, we uh, so, I mean, right now we're paying 42000 a year for rent over there. No, right. 40000 a year. So it will be. It will be. With the 3% increase. Right. So, yeah. it puts up to 42. So that's a pretty good amount of money for that building that's been there established for over 20 years. Okay, it's starting to get out of control. Right, of course, it's going to stop. Yeah, so the $10,000 on top of that, but we don't know where we're going to spend it. We just want to put it there right. in case we need to buy it. That building was originally valued at $20,000. We paid for it time and time again. Right. But we've got to rehouse somewhere. So. Well, I, I, I can see at one point where you know they want that money to fix it up and add on. But like you said, that's an expenditure that maybe you go to every town and say it's time for everybody to ante up. Let's make a lot of bigger for all the citizens and so forth. So, operating budget, two thousand dollar increase. I think that's how it was last year, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And that was with buying new purchases, new books, the library. Uh, how many new members of your Creek was it? Forty-seven, fifty-seven. I think. Forty-seven in the first eight months. Of the this is forty-seven for the first eight months. So. Um, Council, this is up for discussion. I mean, I, I would, my, my opinion, and I'm not voting on this, but uh, you know, the two thousand dollar increase, you know, that's part of the cost. I mean, we got new members over there that are doing a lot to keep the expansion down. They've been controlling that for a lot of years. Uh, the building, I mean, now you see them in front of that. Well, uh, that must be a agenda to check there. I just noticed that the agenda is the presentation. Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> You can discuss it, but I was here. I thought you were anticipating what it was going to be. How about just good discussion then? So y'all can take it back to your next meeting. When is the next meeting? Uh, Monday. Yeah. Oh, it's coming up Monday? Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's open. But other than that, I mean, great job on doing the, uh, the budget and everything like that. I think you kept it right on the lines of, you know, where it needs to be. Would so. you like for us to comment as that Hickory Creek is not the, uh, the acceptance of the well, I'd like to hear from the rest of the council, JC, before I, you know, that's just me speaking on this. Yeah. So, you know, I know you already voted on it, both of you all, and y'all felt about it. So, the rest of the council, you know, there's a discussion on this. But first off, good job on the presentation. It's good to hear that we're being responsible for taxpayer dollars on the library budget. So, good job to that. I know it's tough, obviously, from every town, being a four-town library, it's not easy to handle. So, you're doing a great job. So. There's three people per town, is what I heard though. 
They're looking for some more. Okay, one more. Um, two more. Um, computer user, user was down. Is that space? Yeah. Yes, and if you look, I might go over my back way across there, but it's a uh, previous stability in that 1600. Are they pretty updated computers, or is that part of the reason they are? Every computer is less than five years. And we have a fund for upgrading technology. We will not let ever get in a hole on that again. Um, as far as what you all do and what Barbara does, the numbers look great. It's impressive. It's, I see cars in there. I see different ideas in there. I see a lot of different stuff going on. So keep up the good work. Um, as far as the number four goes on your notes, I agree. I'd probably strike that and, and be happy with everything else. I liked your odds better when it was 42,000 square feet. sound like it's worth much in that respect. What's that building on the tax rolls? Oh, until just recently, the 19,000. Let's just say 20, because it was some odd dollars. Now it's what, 2.2 .2 million? So, so that, that building land is valued at 2.2 million. It's on the tax rolls. It's, it's land. land. So we, don't, and we have not heard why yeah. from Lake Dallas, why it didn't go up. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to get this all set on just the building. I think what's in, in the building, the people going to the building, that's the important part. Sure. The bus, the learning, and all those things like that. So, uh, that's part. Do you have something? Oh, finish just the I I'm a comic. It's the reserve fund as well. Okay. Okay. Some questions for you all. First, let me state by saying thank you very much for drilling down that budget and everything and volunteering for that uh, board. I don't know. JC, you've been here for a long time. You've been going on four years? Right. At least, yeah, it's going on a very long time. So I appreciate y'all doing that very much. Uh, I'm glad y'all voted the way you did because I don't agree with that $10,000 expenditure either. If the reserve needs to stay the reserve. You know, if we saw values go down in all these towns and bottom hits rock bottom, and then people are going to get paid and they can't get them to the reserves to get what they need to do to operate. So, we got to have those reserves for the operating expenses. Yes, right. So, I, I'm not sure, you know, if how we vote tonight with that last sentence in that, that we exclude that, but we still give the $2,021 increase, I think it was, for the town, or how the board is looking for the town to vote at all. Do you know, or did y'all talk about that? Or? No, not as a board. I mean, I know as a board, uh, the majority of people want the most money they can get. Sure. It's the, the if they don't have to don't get the loss of that necessarily for uh, the uh, So I mean right now we're paying forty two thousand a year for rent over there. No, right. Forty thousand five hundred seven. But it will be it will be, be with a three percent increase. Right. So it puts up forty two. 
So that's a pretty good amount of money for that building that's been there established for over 20 years. It's starting to get out of control. Right. Yeah. So the ten thousand dollars on top of that, but we don't know where to spend it. We just want to put it there in case we need to buy. That building was originally valued at twenty thousand dollars. We paid for it. Right. But we got to house somewhere. So. Well, I, I, I can see at one point where you know they want that money to fix it up and add on. Like you said, that's an expenditure that maybe you go to every town and say it's time for everybody to Andy up. Let's make the library bigger for all the citizens and so forth. So. Operating budget, two thousand dollars increase. I think that's how it was last year, if I'm not mistaken. And that was we buy new purchases, new books, the library. Uh, how many of you remember Shakey Creek? Was it forty-seven, fifty-seven? I think forty-seven in the first eight months. Of it. Yes, it's forty-seven for the first eight months. So, council, um, this is up for discussion. I mean, I, I would, my, my opinion. I'm not voting on this, but uh, you know, two thousand dollars increase. That's part of the cost. I mean, we've got new members over there that are doing a lot to keep the expansion down. They've been controlling that for a lot of years. Uh, the building, I mean, Lance, you see that? Any problem with that? Well, uh, that must be a agenda's been changed there. I was just noticing the agenda is the presentation. Oh, I'm sorry. You can discuss it, but I was just doing it. I thought you discussion, then, so y'all can take it back to your next meeting. What is the next meeting? Oh, uh, it's coming up Monday. Okay. So it's, it's open. But other than that, I mean, great job on doing the, uh, the budget and everything like that. I think you kept it right along the lines of, you know, where it needs to be. Would you like for us to comment as that Hickory Creek is not the, uh, the acceptance of the capital fund? Well, I'd like to hear from the rest of the council, JC, before I, you know, that's just me speaking on this. Speak yeah. So, you know, it, I know you already voted on it, both of y'all, and how y'all felt about it. So, what's the council and you know, the discussion on this? First off, good job on the presentation. It's good to hear that we're being responsible for taxpayer dollars on the library budget. So, good job to that. I know it's tough, obviously, from every town and being a four town library, it's not easy to handle. So, you're all doing a great job. So, there's three people per town, is what I heard, though? Exactly. They're looking for some more. Okay, one more. No, um, two more. Two more. Um, computer user, user was down. Is that space? School. It, yes, and if you look, my door will run that way across there, but it's a uh, previous stability at 1600. Are they pretty updated computers, or is that part of the reason they are? Every computer is less than five years. And we have a fund for upgrading technology. We will not let everybody in the hole on that again. Um, as far as what you all do and what Barbara does, the numbers look great. It's impressive. It's, I see cars in there. I see different ideas in there. I see a lot of different stuff going on. So keep up the good work. Um, as far as the number four goes on your notes, I agree. I'd probably strike that and, and be happy with everything else. I liked your odds better when it was 42,000. <laughs>
building is doesn't sound like it's worth much in that respect. What's, the, what's that building on the tax shows? Oh, until just recently, the 19,000, let's just say 20 because it was some odd dollars. Now it's what, 2.2 million? And so so that, that building land is valued at 2.2 million. It's on the tax shows. It's, it's the land. So we, don't, and we have not heard why yeah. from Lake Dallas, why it didn't go up. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to get this all set on just the building. I think what's in, in the building, the people going to the building, that's important for it. Sure. The are still learning and all those things like that. So, that's uh, part. Do you have something? Uh, I'm just one. I'm a comic. He's the reserve fund as well. Okay. So. 